top 10 Manhua or Manhua where MC travel back in past. No matter where you go, there you are. That's the concept behind time travel. If you have seen any anime or read enough manga, you probably know what I'm talking about. Time travel is a very popular topic in manga, manhua and anime. Everyone has their own take on what time travel can look like. I have been reading and watching a lot of manhua, so I thought it would be fun to take a look at some of my favorite ones where the main character travels back in time. Starting off with our number 10, Legend of Star General Song Yun Xiang, the last star cell general of the human race, brought the system back to the campus era. When he was a teenager, he was blinded by the incomplete soul, because he was weak and could only watch his relatives and friends die in front of him. In this life, he returned with a system rebirth, with 60 years of combat experience and knowledge and technology and returned to school. From then on, he used to build mechas to fight monsters. The thing that have regretted, the people who have missed, this time will not leave regrets. Number 9. Devouring Realm Qulin lost his best friend because of the fault he made in his previous life. To defend the honor of his union, he chose to kill the enemies at the cost of his own life. In this life, Qulin reincarnated and came back to the very beginning. To make up for what he did, he would fight till his last breath. The main character is a returner, but he is a diehard and his personality is a little bit cringy. His party members are weak and they are holding him back in some way and the translation is not the best. Other than that, this manhwa has some potential. Number 8. World's Apocalypse Online As the apocalypse reigned, Gu Qingshan used his power to travel back in time before the end. Doing so lets him be connected of two worlds, giving him access to the War God system. This time around, will Wu Qingshan be able to fight against Heaven's will and change his fate? Story is really interesting. Art is good, but sometimes it don't go well with the story, but it also gives a classic vibe. The main characters are well-made, are funny and badass, side characters also fit well and make story more interesting. Overall, it is good and I highly recommend it to all. But it always takes a lot of time to release a new chapter. When it is released, it always has two or more chapters. Number 7. Return of the Triple S Class Ranker Rokan was the king of violence who reigned as the strongest in the virtual reality game, the Lord. Unfortunately, the assassination order issued by an enemy guild caused him to lose everything. To his surprise, the next time he woke up, he had returned back to three years ago. Fucking brats, you just wait, I will devour you all. A new story begins as Rokan, who travels back in time, climbs his way back to the top. This VR manhwa is a literal crack. Main character takes the VR game too seriously and gets reincarnated for not that much of a reason. He grinds a lot to get overpowered faster. He has a savage type personality which is very cool. The story of this manhwa is nothing new but the execution of the plot is on another level. Art of this manhwa is very good and fight scenes always feel satisfying. This is a must try if you are into VR MMO genre. Number 6. Heavenly Source Grand Saga The Murim is in chaos and there is bloodshed and despair everywhere. A certain disciple who has six monsters has been entrusted with the fate of the whole world. Main character gets reincarnated inside the body of a fat noble kid. His mission is to save the Murim and the whole world from bloodshed. In order to do that, he has to find the guy who will be the future devil's sect leader and stop him before he becomes overpowered. But after getting reincarnated, the main problem he faces is that he is a fat guy who can't even walk properly. This Murim manhwa is really a wholesome. There is light comedy in it, the art is loaded with cuteness, at least until the main character succeeds in reducing fat and becomes overpowered. Side characters are written really well. Give this a try if you want something unique in the Murim genre. Moving on to our number 5. Absolute Sword Sense 
The story of this Miri Manwa is really lit. It has a really big training arc but it never gets boring because the execution of the plot is right on point. After reincarnating, the main character can talk to spirits of some sorts, which is quite a unique concept. Main character has a really cool personality. He is also quite ruthless in some cases. Side characters are also written very well. Art is also good and fight scenes are transitioned well. This manhwa is from the author of Nano Machine, so that's a plus. World building is also looking good for now. This manhwa is a must try for all Muri manhwa fans. Number 4. The S Classes That I Raised Eugene is an F ranker overshadowed by his little brother, an S ranker. All he does is get in his brother's way, causing trouble wherever he goes. When a seemingly routine dungeon raid goes wrong and costs Eugene his brother's life, Eugene decides to use the wish granted by clearing the dungeon to reset his timeline. The plan was to lead a quiet life from now on, but now it turns out he can help other people become S rankers. Maybe this is Yuji's chance at building his own entourage of powerful metahumans, but it may be easier said than done. Number 3. The Max Leveled Hero Will Return The powerless prince Davy or Rowan falls into a coma. His soul travels to a place where the greatest of the great gather, the Honorable Hall of Heroes. There, a thousand years pass as Davy undergoes excreating training under their watchful eyes to become a hero too strong for his own good. Now back to his timeline and his kingdom, he's wide awake and the enemies hiding in the king's court better be prepared. The prince they had dismissed is now their biggest threat. To some, I am definitely overestimating this manga, but to me it was absolutely amazing. It's just like your average story, we got trends and get strong powers. Number 2. Return to Player Ten years ago, a group of gods turned everyone on earth into players of a sadistic game that forced them to kill monsters in real life or be killed themselves. Sihan Kim has already seen how this game will play out. Everyone in the world dies except for him. When he's given the chance to go back in time and start a second playthrough, Sihan is determined to change the course of events and beat the gods at their own game. And finally number 1. Archmage Transcending Through Regression after resurrection, Mikhail decides he needs to take the matters in his own hands if he wants to kill the demon god or else the idiot chosen hero is again gonna ruin everything. The story of this manhwa is quite good. The pacing of the plot is also quite nice, but there is a lot of good drama in it which can become a bit boring for some readers. Art is also nice on the eyes and fight scenes are also magical and satisfying. Our main character has a decent personality. Side characters are also written well. Give this a try if you want a good resurrection type manhwa with a lot of decent quality fantasy drama. So ladies and gentlemen, we conclude our today's list with that. But before we leave, make sure you leave with a thumbs up to the video. We really work hard for bringing content for you guys. Therefore, a like to the video will be really motivating. If you have any sorts of queries or suggestions, the comment section is always open too. Also, make sure that you are subscribed to us so that you won't be missing out on any of our updates as we assure you to bring more quality content in the future times. Till another one, see ya and goodbye!